what's up youtube make sure you subscribe to my channel especially if you new and just checking in make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that notification bell too that notification bell is important if you don't hit that notification bell you're not gonna get the videos when they drop so make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get all the videos when they drop and make sure you share my videos please share my videos thank you now look check it out i don't know why everybody is acting all surprised like this rainbow hair dude wasn't going to snitch and yes i'm talking about takashi 69 his whole his entire demeanor screen rat his whole his whole character his whole get up his whole get down was was you you can look at him and tell any dude from the street any real dude from the streets could tell that this dude was fake all the way you can already tell that so i don't know why anybody was even dealing with him in the first place you know all that shit he was doing on ig and taunting people was for fame and nothing more nothing less he didn't care about his i mean he didn't care about nobody but himself He's selfish, and you can see that he's selfish right now. You know, snitching, snitching is the thing to do nowadays. That's that's what everybody doing. They snitching. You know, tell on three, go free. Though in this case, it's tell on many people, and that's what he doing. You know, what what gets me is how Shotty wasn't able to conduct himself in such a professional manner instead of trying to be the biggest blood in Brooklyn. Acting like he was Suge Knight or somebody. You know, you should have learned from Suge Knight watching him and how he went down. You know, one thing I could tell you is he definitely followed in Suge Knight's footsteps. The, the entire blueprint was exactly the same with both parties owning their own rap label. You know, being successful and then eventually doing dumb shit that led to them getting locked up in prison. That's crazy. Now... Takashi 69 is on the stand testifying on any and everybody and this is day two of the snitch chronicles I would say that this shit don't make no type of sense to me though it makes all the sense in the world to me it makes all the it makes all the sense in the world to me you know he he was a bitch ass boy from the jump and never had a gangster bone inside of his body and these nine Trey Blood dudes manipulated him into thinking he was a blood when in actuality he could never be a blood. I mean, real bloods wouldn't even fuck with him on no given day, you know, unless it was to extort him. That's all they would do, you know, and then quit fucking with him. They wouldn't allow him to know anything about their business or personal lives or nothing. And anyway, I blame them as well for even fucking with this dude other than it being business and keeping it on the rap level. Now look, he's in court giving up names left and right without a care in the world because the feds has him protected all because they have an agenda to fulfill themselves, which is incarcerating young successful black men. See, peoples, the system hates any successful black male, especially a young black successful man. Look how they do all the young black successful men. They take them down. They take them down some type of way. You know, anybody that's listening to this video, y'all need to, especially if you're young, you need to, you need to really, really pay attention and look what's going on in the world around you. Be aware of your surroundings. Look how these people doing us. Shotty didn't play his cards correctly like an intelligent black man should have. Anytime you're blessed to be in a position to create a better life for yourself and generate multiple millions of dollars, you're supposed to take advantage of that opportunity and show everyone else the blueprint on how to get to this uh, certain position in life. Not, not You're supposed to progress, not regress. You're supposed to go forward, not backwards. That's crazy. But this man did the total opposite and now he's reaping the benefits from his foolishness. And how in the hell do you permit someone to testify who has paid $20,000 to someone to do a hit? He just as guilty as the hit man himself. Like Snoop Dogg been saying since day one, this dude isn't a gang member. 
let alone of blood. Snoop Dogg told the world about this boy. Not that many of us didn't already know or couldn't tell. You know, Snoop, Snoop Dogg been blasting his food all along, going hard on him. And so has Meek Mill and any other real motherfucker who really from the streets and hate rats. I wonder, I wonder if the feds would go after Chief Keith for anything or would they just leave him alone? You know, hopefully, hopefully they leave him alone, you know. I know he, I know he's sitting back thinking about this shit now. You know, Takashi had people fooled like he was really hard and tough. Remember he went to Chicago on Old Block with the police that you couldn't see? Yeah, he had them boys with him then. He sure had them boys with him. He was on Old Block acting like he was all, hey, I'm on Old Block, taunting people. You had the boys with you, though. You wasn't by yourself because they would have knocked your head off out there in the shot. You know, this, this, this was all in the plans, people, to take down these young brothers. And they used uh, Rainbow Bright, Mrs. Rainbow Bright, to do it. Takashi has implicated everybody he could. And look, he even mentioned rap -a -lot Records as not allowing him to perform in Texas and making him check in. So you know this involves Jay Prince because he's the CEO of Rap -a -lot Records. Now I'm not saying this involves him like he done something to uh to uh Takashi. I'm just saying this involves him because he's the CEO of Rap -a -lot Records. This boy, this boy is done. You can stick a fork in his ass, like like my like my boy Scarface said on his song, "Fuck you too." A real nigga play the game like it's business. A weak nigga facing time go to snitching. Yeah, you know. Y'all should go check out that song too. He was spitting some real shit up in there too. Real talk. You know. He will look, check it out. He will never be able to perform again when he gets out. You know? Whenever he gets out. Nor make a movie or do any normal shit. He marked his life for good. All because of an image he wanted to portray just to sell some records. Just to look like somebody he wasn't. The price of fame is very high, especially for busters like 6ix9ine. He talking about how a beef ensued between the Nine Trey Bloods and uh, Rap -a -Lot Records. You know, personally in my eyes, the boy lying. Because if there was any, any type of true beef, any random person from Houston would have beat his ass on sight or worse. You know, anybody from Texas. It didn't have to be nobody from Rap -A Lot Records. He trying to implicate them on some bullshit, you know? It didn't necessarily have to come from Rap -A Lot, which he trying to paint a false picture of, you know? And check this out. If Trippy, if Trippy Red didn't mention nothing to the police, as he never should, then this motherfucker shouldn't either. You just volunteering information. You, you, you just, you, he, man, he acting like the Temptations now. He's singing his ass off, for real, you know? No, no wonder Billy Otto went MIA from Instagram after all them online beefs with Bosco 100. Remember that? Remember that shit last year, how they was going at it, each other, every other night, every other day on Instagram? Then he just went missing, ain't nobody even heard from him or nothing? Man, you know, 6 9 Six nine told on everybody except his mama, and he's not going to be treated no differently than any other high-profile rat who has graced the prison yards of the feds. He going to the cheese factory, as anybody you know, anybody who been in the feds refer to certain snitch yards called the cheese factory. FCI Phoenix, USP Atlanta, USP Tucson. It's a couple of more, you know. Do I highly doubt he'd touch any USP, any real USP, because he'd be uh, immediately killed. They'll kill him immediately on the USP. Ask anybody that's been to the feds. Ask him. Anyways, what is his family going to do? What is his, what is his fake ass girlfriend Jay going to do? Because in a sec, motherfuckers is going to start pressing his family and girlfriend. See, when you snitch, you put everybody up in a situation. Now his family has to constantly look over their shoulders because of his telling ass. And what's going to happen to Billy Otto and Casanova and Trippy Red and all of them? 
I'm glad this Slim 400 didn't harm this boy because he would have told on him too and fabricated some shit. And what about Alshon Martin? I know he's spooked right now because he was with Shotty and 6ix9ine every day. You know, most of the time. All these people have to be worried right now about getting in trouble with the feds if Takashi has knowledge of them doing anything. Because the feds have milked him for all 411. Believe that. This this testifying might last for up, probably to up to next week, depending on upon how detailed his stories are. Yeah. Oh yeah. I almost forgot too. Fuck Tory Lanez. You know, you gotta be Tory Lanez. You gotta be out of your rabbit ass mind to say that you miss this boy. Though actually, this is normal behavior from fellow rats and busters anyway. You know, this shit. <laughs> This shit, this shit, this shit super crazy. You know, but anyway, and and I apologize, you know, my phone going off and everything. I'm recording this on my phone. All these uh messages coming in and everything. I apologize for that. But uh anyway, this at the end of the video. Let me know how y'all feel about this situation. I already know how real motherfuckers feel, but let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. Um make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that like button and that notification bell so you can get these videos when they drop and make sure you share my videos peace out